Hello YTPC, welcome to the Groovin' Piper channel. This is Cody. Uh, wanna wish everybody a happy 320. I see that's going around, so uh, of course, I'm hopping on the bandwagon. Got my Rossi 8 320, 8320. Um, in it, we have some Margate Esoterica. And while I'm saying that, I gotta give a quick shout out to Over a Pipe. Because uh, he had a live, couple lives today about some esoteric, esoterica drops. So I picked up another two ounce tin of Margate and a two ounce tin of Pembroke. So I'm excited. I've never tried Pembroke. So looking forward to that. That's all I could afford for right now. <laughs> Wanted to get the big bags, but can't do it. So uh, real quick, we're going to light this up. Get that char set in there. I took my softy bits bits off. I was really only using it for this. I can't do it. It's just it's too gummy. Feels weird. Gets kind of gunky in there, and I'm having to, I'm pulling them off all the time to clean it. And no, so it's staying like this for a while. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, I really have nothing to talk about today. Um, just wanted to say hi. Tell everybody thank you for watching. Hmm. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, this is a good week for me usually. Uh, usually, my favorite band's in town right around this time, and uh, or it's in Tahoe, which is only a 40 minute drive for me. But they're not here this year, it's kind of bumming me out. But uh, the band's Umphreys McGee, they are fantastic. Every single musician in that band is is just killer. I mean, amazing. If you guys are into like jam bandy kind of stuff, but not super jam, not like fish, where it's like forty five minutes, not not that jammy. But uh, if you guys are into just really good music, upbeat music. Check them out. Humphreys McGee, they're out of Chicago. Um, so I posted my uh, my video of Carter Hall versus Velvet. What was that yesterday or the day before? Yesterday, because yeah, it was yesterday. Didn't realize there were so many people that I haven't tried Velvet. And it may be hard for them to get. I wish I could send everybody some Velvet just to give it a shot. But I know it's on like smoking pipes and 
for a lot of the online retailers. And it's super cheap, so. I'm gonna talk about the weather real quick. <laughs> um, you have to excuse me, I have a short day today. I'm off tomorrow and Friday. Friday's my birthday. So I've celebrated a little bit. I've already had a little, little bit of some Makers 46, about to crack a beer. I'm just ready for the weekend already, I guess. Um, You know, this Margate's a finicky little little guy. When I got this tin of Margate, it's probably like a month or two ago, I jarred it up right away. I didn't let it dry out or anything. So it's still, I mean, it's a shag cut. So when you go to pull some out, it's literally like it all wants to come out. It's real stringy and it's a, it's, it probably needs a little bit of drying time, but I don't have time for that. I just throw it in there and light it up. I don't get any gurgling or anything like that, but it does seem to take a little bit more babysitting. Um, totally lost my train of thought. This stuff is really, really good though. Super good. Very well balanced English blend. Um, I'm really excited to try that Pembroke. Apparently it's just like Margate, but it's got some like, uh, coating, uh, or coating, some, uh, like cognac topping on it or something. And that's fine with me. Good with some cognac. There's actually a cognac out there that I've yet to try because it's like $130 a bottle, but it's called a uh, Martel. That's my last name. It's spelled differently, but my last name is pronounced Martelli, but it still it's ends in an E. So I got to give that a try, uh, a try it at least sometime, just, just to say I tried it. And if you guys are cognac fans and have tried Martell cognac, let me know what you think. Um, that's really it for me, guys. I uh, just want to thank everybody again. Uh, been trying to catch up on all the videos. It's lots, lots of videos. Um, I love all you guys. Uh, blessed smokes to everybody. I hope everybody has a great rest of their week and a great weekend. And I might be back on here sometime over the weekend. And I'll try to catch some lives too. So keep your pipes clean and loaded and we'll see you on the next one.